getting too excited, man, pumping up these jams on my fancy playlist. Boy, I got some jams, some deaf jams on this thing. March 18th, 1989, and there's already talked about Kids in Play and uh, uh, that New Order record, the Pasadena's with Tribute, and now at number 29, Tone Log, Funky Cold Medina, about a love potion that the narrator used to try to seduce a woman, but the woman turned out to be a man. That was one uh, narration, one storyline. That was a brilliant record. Here's the thing about uh, this record. Funky Cole Medina and Wild Thing. They were huge. Talk about between the fall of 88 to the spring of 89. It wasn't that they were just geared towards the hip-hop crowd. These were mass appeal records with a just a catchy beat, a contagious beat, a melody that was infectious. It just sticks in your head. You get into the rhythm. It's like, man, you just want to boogie all night. Get down tonight and all day long. <laughs> Mass appeal. Everybody could relate to the messages in that record. Everybody. Not just one crowd. Everybody from urban to suburban. Tone Loke, Funky Cole Medina. The research on this record has taken, took me down to a somewhat different direction. It just fascinated me. The record was written by Young MC. You might remember Young MC. He had a couple of joints of his own, but I'll get into that in just a minute. record was written by Young MC, Michael, Michael Ross, and Matt Dyke. Young MC, Matthew Young, was his real name, or was it Marcus Young? I believe it was Matthew. Bear with me, bear with me. I just want to get Marvin Young. That was his real name. Born in London. Moved to New York City when he was very young. Attended college in Manhattan. Uh, migrated to Los Angeles where he went to the University of Southern Cal, Southern California. Got a degree in economics. And that was where he met at USA, USC. Two guys, Michael Ross and Mac Dyke. Michael Ross and Mac Dyke were the founders of Delicious Final an independent record company. They founded it in 1987. It was based in Los Angeles. Marvin Young, who later became Young MC, he rapped to Michael Ross and Mac Dyke over the phone. He was showing off his rapping chops over the phone. And these two guys, they were listening to Young MC, these two guys at Delicious Final. And they were like, this guy, this guy's got it. This guy's got some chops, man. He's chopping it up good. Guy's throwing down on the phone. So guess what they did? Michael Ross and Mike Dyke, and Matt Dyke, rather, they went to Young MC's dorm at USC, and they offered him a contract right there. And that led to the collaboration with Tone Loke doing Wild Thing. God, what a beat. It had an African beat to it. Remember the beat? Boom, 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 boom. Classic African beat. Damn thing rocked. One of the best rap records that ever came out. And Tone Loke had this sense of fun about him. It was like you say, hey, come, let's have some fun. Let's party. Let's not get too serious. Let's not do anything. We're not, we're not going to do any gangster banging here. We'll have some fun. I don't care who you are, white or black or Chinese, man, let's come on over. Let's, let's have some fun around here. It's a party. That's the, what I'm trying to say about these mass appeal records, bringing everybody into the party. Not just one group of people. Everybody, man. Everybody wants to throw down. Everybody wants to party. Everybody wants to have a good time. Every now and then. Never hurts to get all down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, Young MC, man, now you might remember, he threw down some joints of his own. You remember Bust a Move? And I got to ask you something. Who was that incredibly sexy woman who was in Bust a Move? One of the most beautiful women I've ever saw. She was dancing in that video. I was like, wow, great record, too. And then he came out with Principal's Office. I think that was in 1990. But Bust a Move was Young MC's biggest. But I didn't realize that Young MC, until I researched this record, he wrote. Um, he, he wrote Wild Thing, or co wrote it, with uh, Matt Dyke and Michael Ross of Delicious Final. Well, here it is. 
Funky Cold Medina, the love potion. <laughs> Tom Low, King Pro Daddy Rap. Tom Low, at number 29 on my fantasy playlist, March 18th, 1989.